Hello everybody. In this video session, I am going to demonstrate to you how to use Proteus software for simulating microcontroller based circuits. And also I am going to show you how to write a simple C program to toggle the LED and also to control the 7 segment display using the Kiel Microvision. Okay. The first thing is we already discussed about how to create a project. However, as a review, I just opened up the Kiel version and project new project and you can save the project name let us say as a led and you have to choose the microcontroller family let us say 89c51 say ok it will ask that you want to add the startup file since we you know we plan to develop the source code using C language the startup file is mandatory so you have to just say yes and then you will see over here a startup file and go for a new file and save that file so let me name it as a demo.c saving that file and just trying to attach that C file with that ok now we have no source code here I already demonstrated this source code to you and also the you know the how this C program is functioning in my earlier videos you can refer to my earlier videos this is a header file and it's a simple delay routine it's a function and we have our C main file that means this is our starting point and this is called as an infinite loop ok so embedded system never get halted so we have an infinite loop here and I explain here this is a simplified statement instead of using first port 1 bit 0 as a you know 0 and then 1 we are trying to use the XR function and then try to toggle the port 1 bit 0 now let me just compile this source code and you can see the program is compiled and we have about 44 bytes of the code ok now just we need to create a X file which need to be loaded into the microcontroller which is also needed for the simulation environment so what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to enable the option so you can choose it from right click on the target options for target and go to the output and say create a X file and say OK and when you recompile again you will see that creating X file from this LED so the X file is available now same way I also opened the the Proteus software now let us see how to construct a simple circuit that means a microcontroller based circuit in a Proteus simulation environment as usual first you choose the you know the component let me choose like 89C51 the controller which we have chosen is also a family of 8051 but is manufactured by Atmel I am just choosing this component just saying ok or double click ok so double click will add this one and let me add LED and resistor um, we don't need actually the crystal oscillator and reset circuit in a simulation window however when you want to implement the circuit in real time this is all mandatory even we don't need the resistors also for the LED in a simulation window whereas when you implement the circuit in a real time it is must to have a resistor a current limiting resistor ok so let me just close the window now I am just choosing the microcontroller and I am just placing ok try to keep it in the center so it will, you will have a better control on your you know window and 
we have written a program to flash port 1 bits that means you have to connect the led in this place okay so i am just choosing a resistor okay and the led i already discussed i am just trying to use the syncing mode which is better okay and i am just going to the inter sheet terminals and choosing power and connecting power over here okay now the resistance values must be in some ohms so let me choose as a you know 200 ohms or 220 ohms which is standard value and then um, this crystal and the reset and these all the pins are optional in simulation okay whereas even you can see here there is no vcc and power pins also shown okay you can see there's a 19 but there's no 20 and there's no 40 20 pin number 20 is for ground and pin number 40 is for vcc these pins are not shown in simulation okay but these circuits or these connections are mandatory when you want to implement this design in real time okay now we have already made the x file or we say as a machine language file which need to be loaded into this microcontroller okay so how can i do that uh, how you change the resistance value right click left click we have a resistance values right same way here right click left click you will see here the program file that means this is your x file when you click on this automatically it will show only the x values okay so now let me browse to that folder I'm just browsing to that folder now. Okay, so this is a folder you can see. Inside this folder, there is only one X file which recently I created. I just choose that and say open. I say OK. And also you can see the clock frequency. That means the crystal at what rate you want to run this microcontroller also given here. But just let us see like the reaction from this and then we will see how this is going to function okay now once you're done with this circuit of course you can simulate the circuit just by clicking the play button okay and you can see the LED is flashing okay this is the first example how to uh, you know can you know control the simple uh, toggle operation using uh, mu vision that means kill mu vision and also proteus okay now in the seg next segment i'm going to demonstrate to you how to connect the seven segment component and also how to show a single digit and how to also show uh, you know multiple digits in order okay please keep watching my videos if you like my videos please hit a simple like button and if you would like to benefit your friends because of these videos please share to your friends thanks for watching see you next video